हाई एवरीबडी वेलकम बैक टू विमल सरजी यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन बी अफ एक्सरसाइज नाइन पॉइंट फोर ट्रिगोनोमेट्रिक क्लास टेन अप्सनल मैथमेटिक्स यू कैन चेक दि प्ले लिस्ट अफ विमल सरजी यूट्यूब चैनल अ लट अफ क्लास नाइन एंड टेन सल्यूशन हेव अलरेडी बीन अपलोडेड एंड यू कैन फलो इन द फेसबुक पेज दिस इज माई फेसबुक आई डी सो दैट यू विल गेट notifications or updates of newly uploaded video so let's begin the solution if alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to pi radian by 2 prove that tan beta into tan gamma plus tan gamma into tan alpha plus tan alpha into tan beta is equal to 1 so here is given condition here is alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to pi radian by 2 this implies here alpha plus beta is equal to pi radian by 2 minus this gamma now when you take cos both sign both side this will be here sine alpha plus beta is equal to sine pi radian by 2 minus gamma and this is pi by 2 is 90 so for 90 this sign will be cos gamma and this is positive and this is in first quadrant take cos both side cos alpha plus cos beta here take cos then this will be cos pi radian by 2 minus gamma is equal to here cos will be here sin gamma and uh, this is in the 90 degree uh, uh, 90 degrees so this is sin, cos is sin and it is in the first quadrant so plus plus both are plus now LHS LHS tan beta tan gamma plus tan gamma tan alpha plus tan alpha into tan beta so this is here now write this here sin beta by cos beta sin gamma by cos gamma plus sin gamma by cos gamma sin alpha by cos alpha plus tan alpha means sin alpha by cos alpha and tan beta is equal to sin beta by cos beta okay beta beta gamma 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 alpha see that this is mistake here tan tan alpha is equal to sin alpha by sin alpha by cos alpha this is the mistakes when we do so be careful alpha alpha and then beta beta got it now next step see there there is cos alpha cos alpha cos beta cos beta cos gamma cos gamma so take the lcm here take this LCM here cos alpha cos beta and cos gamma this is the this is the LCM of this now here is cos beta cos gamma so here we need cos alpha so this multiply this with cos alpha this will be here cos alpha sin beta sin gamma plus and here is cos gamma cos alpha so we need this cos beta so here multiply with cos beta sin gamma and then sin alpha plus here is cos alpha cos beta so multiply up with cos gamma so this will be here cos gamma into here this sin alpha sin beta is it in range yes now see there now here is cos alpha cos beta there is what is common here sin gamma is here common so take this sin gamma here common sin gamma common in between these two so this will be here sin gamma common means this will be here cos alpha cos alpha sin beta 
plus so sin gamma is common so this will be this is what sin alpha cos beta you can write this first sin alpha and then this cos beta this is now finished now keep this part as it is in arranging way first i'll write here sin alpha sin beta and then i'll write here cos gamma and denominator as it is cos alpha cos beta cos gamma now let me okay shift this upward okay now this is here here now we can do two steps but i will try to adjust in same okay see this this is sin alpha sin alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sin beta this is the same like as what sin a sin a cos a plus cos a cos a cos cos a sin b or shall i write it in uh, it will take one extra okay line if you want okay you can write here this is the formula for sin alpha plus beta sin a cos b plus cos a sin b okay I'll directly write because it will increase the space. So this is sine gamma, and this is first arrange this here sine this side and this this side. Okay, then you will get the formula. This formula is, is of sine alpha plus beta formula. This is plus this is here sine alpha, sine beta, and cos gamma. Or I can do one thing for you here in the rough. There is a very less space. I cannot show here. Okay, I will slide and I will show you. See there. This part I am going to do there. This is okay. This line what I have done. First I will write here this sin alpha, and then this cos beta, and then plus plus this cos alpha. Cos alpha and then sine beta. This is this is just like what a. Okay, I'll change this into a. This is b. This is a and this is b. The formula for this is what? The formula for this is sine a plus b. Because sine a plus b is equal to sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. Okay, so this is the format here. Just alpha beta is different and this is there. Okay, this is the logic. Now come back here. Now this cos alpha cos beta cos gamma. Now sine alpha plus beta here sine alpha plus beta is cos gamma. So write here cos gamma. Now can I do this here? Okay, let me do it on audio. I think it will be finished here only. Okay. So sine gamma. Into sine alpha plus beta. Sine alpha plus beta is cos gamma. Cos gamma plus here is sine alpha. Sine alpha. Sine alpha. This is here sine gamma, and in this place sine alpha plus beta. Sine alpha plus sine alpha plus beta is equal to here. Cos gamma plus this is sine alpha and this is here sine beta cos gamma by cos alpha cos beta and this cos gamma as it is. Now this is equal to here cos gamma and cos gamma is common here. So take here cos gamma common and this is here sine gamma plus So cos gamma is taken out. So this is here sine alpha sine beta. Is it in range? Yes. And this is here cos alpha cos beta cos gamma as it is. Okay. Now here next step. This is here cos gamma as it is. And now. Sin gamma here. Sin gamma value. See there. Sin gamma is equal to cos alpha plus beta. So here this is cos alpha plus beta. 
and this is here plus sin alpha sin beta sin alpha sin beta as it is and down denominator same cos alpha cos beta cos gamma yes now here is it visible yes now this is here cos gamma and now this is cos alpha plus beta value is cos alpha cos beta this is plus then this will be minus sin alpha sin beta and this plus this as, as it is same sin alpha sin beta and this bracket here close and down cos alpha cos beta cos gamma as it is now you can see minus sin alpha sin alpha sin beta plus sin alpha sin beta both are same this is minus and this is plus so this cancel now here is we can write here this cos gamma and in the bracket there is cos alpha cos beta only and this all are zero and down it is same cos alpha is it now cos alpha cos beta cos gamma okay it is now yes now see there you can see this cos alpha cos alpha cancel this already multiply form cos beta cos beta cancel cos gamma cos gamma cancel nothing is remaining that means one okay so this is equal to this one rhs proved is equal to rhs proved so this is the complete solution of this 13 b see you in the next videos and please don't forget to check the Bimal Surge YouTube channel class 9 and 10 in students. It is very helpful for you as you will get all the solutions of your Vedant publications class 9, uh, 9 and 10 OPT maths and both compulsory maths. So stay tuned, keep watching, support by giving a sweet comment and follow in the Facebook page. See you in the next videos. Radhe Radhe Jai Sri Krishna.